Hi everyone, how are y'all doing today? I am here to show you my finished diamond paintings. <laughs> this is the pile of unframed diamond paintings that I have been collecting for the last two years. I will insert a photo to show you where they have been stored. Basically, it is a children's play table that has been sitting in the main floor of my house. We have uh, open concept living room, dining room, but we don't have a dining room table. So that was always the kids play area, but the kids are grown up. <laughs> so basically that has been just a storage area and I have just kept piling finished diamond paintings on top of this pile. So you'll see it is on a piece of cardboard. So this I hung on to when I redid my craft room from all of the Ikea furniture. I basically have one upstairs in my craft room that I use to store the um, just canvases that haven't been started yet. And this one is for the finished canvases. So I can easily move it around if I just pick up the cardboard from underneath. It is very heavy because there are so many on here, but let me go into showing you. So you might see some that were recently finished because basically I just bring them all down here. But the first one I'm gonna start with is this rolled canvas. This is the first diamond painting um, that I completed from Diamond Dots. Make sure I have it the right way here. <laughs> Ta-da! I know it looks terrible with all that stuff underneath it, but it is huge and I can't really show you the whole thing, but this is the selfies photo from Diamond Dots with all the cats, dogs, bunnies, hamsters, and all of the AB drills. It is beautiful, but I don't know how. Um, I was gonna try and get it stretched on a canvas. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But this one was very pricey to purchase, so it's definitely a keeper. And for now, I just keep it rolled up. And I know you're supposed to roll diamonds out, but this is a round partial, so it does not push the diamond drills and move them to roll it diamonds in. So this is the only one that's rolled diamonds in, and only because of the type of canvas that it is. It's a very soft fabric, it's partial round drill, so the diamonds don't get affected by rolling it that way and it stays protected. So don't do that. <laughs> unless you have that type of a canvas. Now I also have these boxes. You may have seen when I showed my um, canvases from my stash that I haven't completed yet. I have two of these. These are the A4 light pad boxes that my light pads came in. And this one I have labeled small finish diamond paintings. There's not a lot in here because there's not a lot that fits in here, but this is a good storage for it. So we have this pink Mickey and Minnie Moon. We have some little kitties. This is the kitties and coffee and donuts. And this is the little kitty with books and a little cup. This was one that I did, the kimono doll, and you can see it, it's extra sparkly. This is one that I used glitter to dust in the grooves where the sticky adhesive was still poking out from the round drills. So I used like a diamond dust glitter. You can see it on the edge here. And dusted it across the entire canvas. That made it super, super sparkly. I don't know if it's too sparkly. <laughs> it's a cute little blue owl from Hula Can. We have a little snowman. This was a little black cat, but it turned out to be blue. <laughs> and then there's a little Cheshire cat. They're so sparkly. These ones are the ones that are like two years old. And then Princess Leia. Um, I do have others that I haven't completed that go with that as like a, a set, but yeah. So those are the little ones and they stay nicely stored in there. Now you've seen these ones recently on the top. It will be the most recent and then it'll go down to the older ones at this point. 
These are the canvases from Spell Queen. So we have the owl, the summer beach scene. This is from FG Normal, the unicorn. We have Yoda. There is the chickadees. So cute. We have the floral cat that I completed. We are scaredy cats. This is one I actually pulled it towards the top because this is um, one of the first diamond paintings that I did that I had ordered off of AliExpress. Um, oh, look at that. And the drills are smushed on the top there. I'll have to fix that. But this one is two years old and that is the image of scaredy cats. I did not know at that time that it was a legally licensed image, but now I have the original. So super happy to put that one together. Here is the dragon eye that I completed. There's the partial swans. This is the bamboo, the three sections that my sister completed. There is the black cat with the pumpkin. This was from Fan Cells. We have the coffee Pikachu. So cute. And this was the snowman with kitty that I recently completed from Hula Can. And we have our pink Santa. Um, the other day I was actually searching on Cool Hall or Cool Hall. A couple people have been posting videos from them and I've never heard about them. So I went online and they have this image and you can choose different sizes. So check it out. Um, I was actually going to order one just to see what it looked like, but I haven't had a chance yet. And I do have a frame to put this one in. So this guy's going to get framed hopefully today. We have a special drill Cheshire Cat. There's a little froggy with the rubber ducky on him. This Madison's um, Big Hero 6. There's that fox with the butterfly. That was the square drills from Fansels, I believe. There's my raccoon in the um, succulents. <laughs> so cute. And we have this big waterfall. That one was fun to do. Okay. Uh, in this bag. Let's see what we have. These are some of the bigger ones that I just stored in here for bigger, bigger small ones. Oh, here's a receipt. <laughs> so this was a special drill peacock. I ended up giving away the other side because it was a two-sided one. We have this cute little partial panda. There's a partial up with the balloons. It's one of my favorites, the painted cow. So pretty. I believe my sister did this one. It's a beagle. This is also one of my first ones. It's the deer. Here's one of the cats, the coffee cats. I have some more to finish to go with those. We have our unicorn sticking its tongue out. And a special drill owl. This one was so much fun and it's so cute. I love all the special drills on that one. So that's another way I store some of them in that bag. Then we have, what's her name? Uh, Moana. <laughs> this was from Hua Can and this was one that I did purchase a long time ago, um, but I just finished it uh, this year. Super sparkly, super pretty. 
love the way it turned out. This is a really old one from Evermoment. This was the only canvas I ever purchased from Evermoment and I should have got it bigger, but you know, that was at the beginning when I was just learning. So that is uh, the Disney castle with the rainbow coming across. Super cute. This is also one of the originals that, from two years ago from Hua Can, which is a Cheshire cat. Here's one of the chalkboards. Be a mermaid and a, see a fish. Um, I'm kind of read. This one was Louis Vuitton from AliExpress. I did order quite a few from that company, and they turned out really good. Like that's been there for over a year, and it looks awesome. This is another Diamond Dots, the Starry Night Van Gogh from Diamond Dots. Again, this was original from when I first started diamond painting and we hadn't purchased any from AliExpress yet. We were just buying local and spending a million dollars. Here's my special Joel Santa. This one I had purchased from Yo-Yo Diamond Painting, which is now cat-eared. Um, I believe they are sending me a diamond painting to review soon um, under their new cat eared but I had purchased these when she first opened her shop and she was the first one to have this special drill Santa and I just love the colors I bought one for myself and one for my mom and I do have the um, stretcher bars to put this one on I just haven't done it yet but maybe this year for Christmas but he's so pretty I love the colors Another special drill, the Peacock Girl. Again, it was really fun to do. Don't know what I'm gonna do with her though, but really pretty. What else do we have here? We have a cat with the floral um, wreath on its head. I have another one. I bought two of them together. But this, they came out so dark, everything's so gray. I was kind of disappointed with it, but we'll see. British Bulldog, he is so cute. There's my hipster pig. Love him. <laughs> this is the cat with the butterfly. And we have this little tiger. I love the colors on it, it's so pretty have this um, flamingo with the crown this was a hua can one that I had purchased a long time ago um, I don't think it ended up too bad I see a couple of drills here I can see the spots in there where they came out of Let's see about the pen <laughs> who doesn't have a drill pen in every room of their house come on I actually have a table down here, so. Oh, and I just put it in upside down. Just one of those days, huh? There we go. Not too bad for an older who can. This was one of the gorgeous girls that I was not too happy with. Do not like the background at all. The girl herself is cute, but the background just didn't turn out right. And then we have the sea turtle. There's his head up there and the flipper down here. Another hua can, but this was a round. This was my first dreamer design, which is the Van Gogh grumpy cat. Again, I was happy with the drill quality, but the um, gapping, when you have such light colors, I just didn't like that. But I do have another Dreamers design, which is the Van Gogh um, Corgi Butts. But that one has not been completed yet. There's my cat from Runfar. Again, great company. If you guys come across Runfar on Aliex, or not AliExpress, on uh, Amazon. They are a really good company, great quality. Uh, dr the drills come bagged, so you're ready to go. And it, I believe it comes with a thing of washi tape. Yeah, that was awesome. 
There's another Gorgeous Girls. Again, I was not happy with this one with the colors in her face. And this was ones that I had duplicates that my sister did some and I did some and they had different colors charted in them. So this one is the one that didn't really turn out. And then the last one here is my beautiful mermaid. This is the first one that I put special sparkler drills in her tail. I think she turned out gorgeous. Hope you guys can see that sparkle there. Yeah, that one was pretty. So that's it. That's the completed diamond paintings that are not framed. Um, I will do another video for the framed ones to share with you guys, but that's it for this. Okay, thanks. Leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.